Good morning. I have lots and lots and lots of things to do today. Long story short, we are about to have a hurricane. It is supposed to make landfall closer to tonight, but it's been super gloomy and raining off and on and things like that. I'm really hoping that everyone stays safe up in the panhandle. I am in central Florida. So we're really just going to be getting more of like a tropical storm type conditions, but I have a lot that I need to get done. I have to carve, I think a total of four new stamps. I would love to knock as much out as possible today. And that's just for an event I'm doing with my mom, plus a market that I'm doing, which is the biggest market I've ever done. I know I've talked about it a couple times in my other videos. I'm really excited for it, but I'm just really wanting to make sure that I have enough inventory and enough things made. The people that I've talked to that have been a part of this big Central Florida market have talked about how they've sold out before and it's definitely one to bring a lot of inventory to. So I'm definitely going to try and bring as much as I possibly can, which just means block printing lots and lots and lots of prints. So I need to do that. And plus I have a custom order that I need to get done, but if need be, I can push that off into next week. My main priority is getting things done for the event and the market. It is currently September 26th. So I have a little over a week to finish everything for the event and then market. I also am watching Gilmore Girls for the first time. Everyone talks about how like Gilmore Girls is like the fall essential. So I started watching it and I have been binge watching it. I only started it maybe like three weeks ago and I'm already on season six, like halfway through season six. So I've been watching that in the background for a very, very long time now, anytime that I'm working. Another thing too that I think is really random, but kind of like significant is I've noticed that my anxiety and I don't know how else to explain like I guess just like my anxiety for like life and feeling like I don't know what I'm doing because I'm in my 20s and that's just what you feel in your 20s but I've noticed that feeling really start to subside over the last three weeks and what I think the main thing is I talked about this before sometimes at nighttime I'll just kind of scroll on my phone I'll scroll on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. YouTube doesn't really affect me as much as the other platforms do but nine times out of ten when I'm scrolling on Instagram or TikTok specifically I feel like I've wasted my life and I feel like I've got nothing done. I feel like I'm super behind. I feel like I don't know what I'm doing even more and I don't really know what the feeling is but it's terrible and I feel like almost sick so I've been wanting to stop scrolling so I started reading again and stuff like that but sometimes I would still find myself scrolling or playing solitaire which has also really helped me stop scrolling but I'm still on my phone but I've been watching Gilmore Girls and not that I should have like put something else in between a scrolling habit. Like I wish I was reading more and stuff like that, but like the fact that I'm able to like sit and watch a show and not like be overstimulating myself or anything like that and just enjoy it. And I've also noticed a significant difference in my mental health is kind of worth talking about. I don't know what we're doing with social media. Like it is actually making people sick and the fact that I have completely basically gotten off of scrolling on social media for like three weeks now unless I'm like posting or things like that I've barely been on TikTok like at all just to check my notifications if anything but not to scroll I think says something like that's huge the fact that I've been off of it for three weeks and I'm already seeing a huge difference in like my mental health and my mental clarity and like being okay with the feeling of not really knowing what I'm doing but not feeling like I'm super uncomfortable or like something has to be done. Like I'm just chilling. Like things are what they are. I'm able to just be where I am and acknowledge the feelings, notice the feelings and not feel like I am just like ruining my life or I'm not getting my life together is pretty significant. So I thought I wanted to talk about it because I think that that's pretty important and I think we should put boundaries on social media. I'm really passionate about it. I learned a lot about social media going to school. I went to school for communication and conflict and I got my bachelor degree in that with a minor in sociology and we live in a day and age where there are studies on the effects of social media on the brain and I did a lot of studies and a lot of essays on that information and I've always kind of had my guard up but always kind of felt like oh I need social media for my business or for marketing etc etc but there is a way to have boundaries with it and to put limits and guardrails up because, because the social media platforms aren't going to do it for you they want you to consume they want you to over consume they want to keep your attention 
right on your phone constantly. It's like a test to see how long they can have your attention for. In TikTok, they struck the gold mine and I feel like now there is a huge loneliness epidemic. I grew up where you hang out with your friends outside and you go do things. And now I'm experiencing adulthood where I don't go out. And I feel like most people in their 20s do go out and do things, at least go grab coffee. And I hardly ever do that anymore. But like even seeing like kids whose brains aren't fully developed, which is funny when I say that because I feel like such a kid, but like I'm actually seeing kids whose brains are not fully developed and they're just consuming social media day in and day out. I don't ever hear kids playing outside anymore you don't ever hear anything about that stuff and of course like the safety of letting your kids go and run and play outside is like terrible now because there's just so many terrible things happening in the world but I feel like even in like the safe environments kids still aren't playing outside and it's just like I don't know anywho so I'm really passionate about this topic so I thought I would bring it up and just I don't know maybe share that information and hope that it encourages you to like just get off your phone every once in a while just get off of it don't respond back to people you know, just do whatever you gotta do to get off your phone. The world is not going to end if you turn your phone off or if you lock your phone and set it down in another room. I, I want to be able to function without my phone. I am constantly using my GPS, even if I know where I'm going, just in case there's a wreck, I would like to know about it. Like, I don't know. So anyway, I can really get on a TED talk with this, but I just thought I would shed some light on it because I think it's important to talk about. Not that it has anything to do with this video, but I just think it's important and probably super relatable to anyone watching this. So let's try and get off of our phones more because what the heck? Okay, I have lots to do. I wanna bring you guys along. I'm gonna be making more stamps. If you didn't already, in my last video, I actually talked in depth about my stamp making process. I did a voiceover while I was carving out a stamp. So if you wanna know my process of hand carving, then you can go check out that video. I will have it linked in the description or linked somewhere on the screen. And I really wanna do a video that's dedicated to just stamp making, lino cut, block printing i just want to make a video that is all about that and it's going to be like a live like i'm chatting with you while i'm carving and talking through my process and designing and all those types of things just to do a little bit more in depth i'm not a super big professional but i feel like i've gotten some tips and tricks down i get a lot of comments about people wanting to start block printing again or wanting to start this medium i personally think it's extremely therapeutic so i would love to share it with you all and share what's helped me i've only started this maybe like like a year and a half ago and I'm obsessed. It's my favorite form of art making. It's my favorite medium to use and I would love to just share anything that's helped me and if you have anything that's helped you, some of you guys have left tips in the comments and that's also been super helpful for me. So keep leaving those and we can build ourselves a little block printing community here with little tips and tricks. But I'm gonna keep rambling because I'm putting this off because I have so much to do so I'm procrastinating. But I'm going to binge watch Gilmore Girls and carve some stamps. So why don't you join me? Cast in a lifetime supply of Twizzlers and popcorn, uh, if that's your choice, but she's all set.
Good morning. I am drinking coffee out of the new camper mugs. Check it out. I tried to fix my focus lens to see if it would refocus on something else other than my face. I think it's doing that. I'm not totally sure. I'll see during editing. I took my straw out so I could take some photos, but... The straw is back in. Mm, that is good. I also already have coffee on my sweater. I love that for me. It really fits the vibe though, it fits the vibe. But we lost power. Well, I guess it was, it was around three when I woke up. I don't know how long the power had been off, but the power went off around 3 a.m. And surprisingly, I really thought today was gonna be like a full day of no electricity, possibly even like a week. You just never know when hurricanes are coming, especially when you're in an area like me. I was in a pretty safe area. We really were, like I said yesterday, we're just hitting like tropical storm conditions, not necessarily hurricane conditions. So majority of the, you know, the priority and all of those things happen over on the West Coast where the hurricane actually was and up in the panhandle. So typically when you're in an area like this, you don't really know when your electricity is gonna come back on because obviously everyone's over at the priority where like the most damage is being done. So it was fixed rather quickly, like around 10.30 and I was, this close, I was on DoorDash, very, very close. Like I was at the checkout to have coffee delivered to my house when it turned on. So I got to save my money and I made coffee at home as you can see, but not to make too much light of the situation. I know a lot of people just lost everything that they own and that was a really, really terrible hurricane. So I'm hoping everyone on the West Coast and the Panhandle, anyone that is even up North that has been affected by this storm, I'm hoping that all the love is sent your way and you are safe and protected and you get the help that you need. I'm not really sure how to move on from that because I mean, these are natural disasters, they're devastating. And I don't know, it's always this time when hurricanes come around that I just kind of have an extra wave of gratitude, especially when we make it through the hurricane with little to no damage at all. But for those that are deeply affected, you know, my heart just goes out to them and I just feel like it's hard to move on and live a normal day when so many other people are suffering. But we do have work to do. I have lots of things to get done and I'm so thankful that the electricity came back on and there's no damage and we're able to stay on track for this market and this event that I'm doing next weekend. So let us get to it. What we have on the docket today is packing up thank yous. This is something that's not like a huge priority, but I need a break from actually making things that I'm gonna be selling and I need to just like do something that's kind of monotonous. I have all of my things here. I usually always include a business card, a sticker of some sort. I'm including these thank you like checkout bag stickers that I just ordered. And I always include a little free print. This is navigating the human experience mindfully. And then on the back, it has all of my Patreon information and information on how to get more connected to this mindful family. I always put it in these like white baggies and put washi tape to seal it. And that's usually what my thank you packaging which is what's included in every single order entails. But yesterday I decided to make these little papers myself. So they're really like kind of cheap. The printing's not like the best, but I wanted to add my merch because I'm not really ordering anything from my shop, like crew neck wise, hoodie wise, t-shirt wise, any of those types of things, hats. I'm not gonna be ordering any of those for the market. They're just gonna be sold online. Like I already have them up. So I decided to print out these cute little cards that kind of let them know that I have merch and if they want to shop anything else. It has my, I'm gonna see if it's gonna focus. Hopefully it does. I think it's focusing, but basically I have my website up here and then I say new merch. Bo just hit my camera. Long story short, I have my website here. It says new merch. I also sell merch. I have a couple of like my new items here and then I have like kind of a description of what all I have on my website plus more. So that is the monotonous thing that I'm going to be doing today. Also probably my wellness shots. I'm probably gonna be doing those as well. And then I have to take some product photos and pretty much just keep rolling out. I need to do a lot more of my stamps with black ink and I even have two more stamps that I need to carve. So there's definitely plenty to do. It's just a matter of executing it. So 
I'm gonna stop blabbing. We're gonna get to it. I hope you're enjoying this video so far. I never know how much talking I should be doing or how much showing you what I'm doing. I, I never know how much of that to include. I've seen that most of my market prep videos do really well, so I thought, why not make another one? I am still a little new to this whole thing, so let me know if you're enjoying the video so far. Give me a little, a little like. <laughs> Anywho, let's get to it. My great top does suck. It does suck. I've heard that about London. You should just get on the plane and come home. You would. All right, Ace, I gotta go. I just want to tell you I touched down. I'll call you later. Okay, bye, and thank you. Of course. Like a remote control rocket? No, like a wobble rocket. No, nothing like that. It's just a wobble rocket. I mean, what could that mean? Who gives someone a rocket? I don't know. everything ready over here to start block printing all of the things I need to block print in black ink. And I also have a second cup of coffee to go along with it. Just wanted to check in and let you all know that I am doing all right because I have a second cup of coffee and that's gonna help us keep on pushing through. Anywho, let's get to block printing. Thank you. 
Hello, beautiful humans. I have had a very slow morning. I woke up at noon today, but there is a reason for that. I was up super late filming with my brother. I gave a little soft launch about this um, a couple weeks ago, but he has started his own cubing channel for Rubik's Cubes, Speed Cubes, etc. He started cubing around, I think, February of this year, and he is already at like the super advanced level. He has fallen in love with it, and he's super passionate about teaching and all sorts of things like that. So he has started this channel. It's an educational cubing channel. It's full of lo-fi playlists where you can just relax, cube with him, or do your thing with a video in the background. Again, it's educational, so there are tutorials overviews and steps to beginner methods, intermediate methods, and advanced methods as of right now. The beginner method is going to be coming out this month along with some really cool other things. So it's a brand new channel. He just started it. The links are all in my description. If you could please go check him out and give him some love. I personally am not a cuber, but I am loving the channel so much. Maybe I'm biased, but at the same time, it's just a really cool channel and I couldn't be more proud of him and more excited. So if you are interested in cubing, learning how to cube, if you are already a cuber, or if you would just like to relax with a video in the background and some lo-fi, I highly recommend and encourage you go over to his channel, show him some love, give him some likes, give him a subscribe, but overall, just check him out. So with that being said, I have so much that I need to get done still. And I really wanna break this video up into two videos so that it's not like super strenuous and long. So yeah, I just kinda of wanna split up this market prep into two different videos. So the next video that I'm gonna be filming is going to include the market footage. I'm going to try and get a lot of footage that day. I usually just get some clips from the market, but it's a six hour market and it's one of the biggest markets in Orlando. So I definitely wanna make sure to get some really cool footage. I have some friends coming out and things like that. So I'm really pumped about it. I could not be more excited. These things are so draining sometimes, but at the same time, they're the most rewarding. And I just love going and hanging out with people and like being able to share my work in person is just like such an honor and such a privilege to be able to do. So I'm extremely thankful for these opportunities that come by. But yeah, so that's all I have for this video. I wanted to keep it somewhat short, like I said, so I can split it up into two big chunks of market prep because it's so hefty. And again, I don't want it to be too crazy long, but yeah, I finally got to my plant chores. I've been putting those off for probably two weeks now and my plants started to look rough. So as you can see, I had a slow, calm morning where I was taking care of my plants and it was really filling. I started the artist way a couple weeks ago. I already finished the artist way, completely changed my life but I restarted it and I still have yet to finish week one and I actually have two well I guess it's one big vacation coming up but I'm going to be traveling with my husband we're going to North Carolina to stay in these like getaway tiny homes with my family and then the week after that we're going to our own tiny home with just me my husband and Bo and it's going to be such a fun time I can't wait to get content from it I'm planning on taking that time to just kind of like recenter refocus and get a lot of ideas for content that I want to put out for things I want to create just overall I want to spend that time refilling up my cup and recentering re you know, regrounding, like I said, and I want to do it the artist's way. I want to really dive into it during that time as well. I can't wait to get footage from that. It's going to be so peaceful and so calming. And I don't know, all of my videos always look like they're in my office, you know? So I'm really excited to have something that's outside of my office. I just heard to restart because I'm running out of time on my camera. So I'm going to shorten up this outro. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please add a little fern emoji. Thank you so much for making it to the end. Shout out to my patrons. You guys are the bees and me's. If you are interested in becoming a more exclusive member of this family, or if you want some more exclusive content, consider checking out my Patreon and joining. I have podcast episodes, monthly mail rewards, prints and stickers, and so much more. So I'd love for you to join the family over there. But yeah, thank you all for being here. It means the world if you're at the premiere, shout out to you. It means so much to me. It's so cool having the premieres and having people join and watching it live with you all. It's just such a vibe. So yeah, I'm excited for part two of this video and I will see you in the next one.